One of the most commonly asked questions in our YouTube comments is, what is the best way to get rid of my open pores? So in this video, I'll be sharing with you the ultimate routine to get rid of your open pores in less than 20 minutes. However, before I continue with this particular video, ladies and gentlemen, I highly appreciate if you click the like and subscribe button because it pushes more videos like this to someone like yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and welcome to Skin Fix, the platform and the channel whereby we share with you all things skin and skincare related. And this, in this particular video, I'll be sharing you the ultimate technique to reduce your open pores in less than 20 minutes. Now, first up, let's understand why open pores happen. Now, the first fact is your pores can open and close at will. It's not like a flower, it's not like a plant, it is not alive. However, pores do look enlarged from time to time, especially when you take certain photos. Now, why do pores look enlarged? There could be a few different reasons. One of the main reasons is genetics. Some people are just born with pores much larger and much more visible compared to their peers. However, there are a lot of other reasons that actually impacts the visibility of your pores. One of the main things that impact the visibility of your pores is acne scars. Many times when we're young, when we pinch our pimples, it typically leave a scar, and this particular scar can look like an open pore. Other reasons could be there's excessive sebum stuck in your pores, and at the same time, your skin might be severely dehydrated, causing pores to look larger than normal. However, the largest culprit that contributes to enlarged pores is dead skin cells and sebum stuck in your pores. So since we know that is the largest contribution, here is a simple five-step skincare process to get rid of your open pores. Step number one is cleanse. You want to use a gentle cleanser every day. Now, a gentle cleanser does not harm your skin. It does not strip your skin of those sebum. However, it removes sufficient dead skin cells and sebum from your skin. Now, that being said, how about the excessive sebum stuck inside your pores? I highly suggest for you to use a salicylic acid base cleanser at least two to three times a week. And if your skin is oily, you can even use it on a daily basis. The reason why is because salicylic acid is sebum loving. It means that it binds to your excess sebum and exfoliates it very efficiently. So if you're someone suffering from really oily skin, you can use salicylic acid cleanser almost on a daily basis. However, if you do not have oily skin, you can use it two to three times a week. Now remember, while cleansing your skin to use regular lukewarm water or room temperature water and never scrub your skin or use a very harsh exfoliator on your skin. Instead, wipe it, dab it dry with a clean towel. The second step is to exfoliate. Exfoliating is an important process to shrinking your open pores. This is because at times, there will be excessive sebum and dead skin cells stuck in your pores which your cleanser cannot get rid of. Then you need to rely on something a little bit stronger, like a chemical exfoliator. You can use a chemical exfoliator that contains either glycolic acid or salicylic acid, depending on your skin type. If you're someone that has dry skin, dehydrated skin, or you have normal skin, you can opt for a glycolic exfoliator. However, if you're someone with slight oily skin, you have whiteheads, blackheads, you can opt for salicylic acid exfoliator. You can exfoliate one to two times a week. And if you think that that is insufficient and you want to really shrink your pores, you can increase it to almost every day. However, my advice for beginners, if you have never exfoliated before, just do it once or twice a week. And when your skin is used to the exfoliating process, you can then increase it to every other day or even on a daily basis. But remember, do not over exfoliate because it can make your skin extra sensitive and cause and lead to a lot of other skin problems. Before I continue with the video, let me know in the comments below who of you are currently suffering from enlarged pores. Next up, after your cleanser and exfoliator, you should always use a toner. Toners are meant to reduce and refine your pores. Majority of the toners are hydrating. And this is really important because after you have cleansed your skin and you have removed sebum from your skin, immediately after that, you need to hydrate your skin. Look for a toner that contains ingredients like niacinamide or witch hazel extract because they both help reduce inflammation and control sebum production. The best way to apply a toner is to use a cotton pad and apply it on the cotton pad and then apply it on your skin directly. Let the toner absorb into your skin roughly within half a minute to a minute, and then you can move on to the next step. The next step is to treat your skin. After a long day out, your skin is severely damaged by UV rays, environmental toxins, or even the climate. So this is where you need to treat your skin. 
The treatment portion is meant to repair your skin. The best ingredient to repair your skin while shrinking your pores is to use niacinamide. Typically, this particular step uses serums. The reason why is because serums are specifically created to treat your skin using high concentration of active ingredients. Apply half a dropper to a dropper of serum onto your face, your nose, and even your neck, and allow it to absorb. Certain serums require one to two minutes to absorb, and some serums even longer, up to four to five minutes. And lastly, moisturize. Use a lightweight, non-comedogenic moisturizer to moisturize your skin. Now, not all moisturizers are suitable to shrink your pores. There are certain moisturizers that contain oil or certain occlusives, and that can clog your pores and make your pores look larger. My suggestion is to use a water-based gel or a lightweight moisturizer and apply it on your skin. Now, if you feel that it's insufficiently moisturizing enough, you can apply a couple layers of the moisturizer on your skin. And very importantly, do not forget to apply it on your neck as well. And before I finish up with the video, here are a couple of extra tips that you can do to enhance and to reduce the appearance of your open pores. First, avoid touching your face. Touching your face will lead to damage and at the same time, bacterial infection on your skin. Secondly, is to stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water because a well-hydrated skin equals lesser pores. And third, Use the sheet mask regularly. You can use sheet mask on a daily basis or even sometimes just once a week. A sheet mask typically will help lock in the moisture on your skin and repair your skin even further. Now that's the end of the video. If you like this particular video, do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment below whether you are suffering from open pores or not. Also, do not forget to turn on the bell button because we release new video on a weekly basis. Now that's it for me. I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor, and always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.